Welcome to Back to Hours, right on your sofa. I'm Karen. Tonight, I'm going to read Ninny at the Carnival, written and illustrated by Errol Lloyd. At last, it was Carnival Day. All the children were putting on their costumes and helping each other get ready. Everybody was happy except Ninny. Ninny didn't have a costume, you see. And as the others marched off to join the carnival, Ninny just sat there and cried. If you don't stop crying this minute, said Ninny's friend, Betty, I will turn you into an ugly frog. But if you come with me, I will make you a queen of the carnival. Very funny, said Ninny. You're not a real fairy godmother and you haven't even got a magic wand. I might not be a real fairy godmother, said Betty. But at carnival there is a lot of magic about. So off they went to join the carnival. There was so much noise and excitement. There were horns and whistles and flutes and drums and bottles and bells and everything else. Toot toot, tweet tweet, clang clang, bang bang. Katang, katang, katang. Everybody was having such a good time. If only I had a costume, whispered Ninny to herself. Then Ninny suddenly heard I am your fairy godmother from the east. Put this on. It was only a piece of cloth, but it fitted Ninny perfectly. Now that you have a costume, said the fairy godmother, you are pretty enough to be queen of the carnival. Ninny danced and danced with happiness. Soon everybody was dancing with Ninny and everybody agreed that Ninny was the queen of the carnival. Where have you been? said Ninny to Betty. Look, I've been the queen of the carnival. By a real fairy godmother, I suppose? said Betty. Yes, said Ninny, from the east and with a real magic wand. And Ninny talked about it all the way home. Thanks everyone. Don't forget to tune in next Monday for another bedtime story.